Well, hello, hello, hello. Here we are in 2024. And I decided to do a true unboxing. I don't even know why, except that um, this is my first Versace purchase from Versace.com directly. And so I just wanted to hmm, get it all on the video, show you guys what the packaging is like, um, the whole unboxing experience. I mean, usually I'm way too impatient and I'm just, as soon as it comes in the door, I'm ripping it open and putting it on. But I decided to do things a little bit differently for the first video of 2024, show some restraint. So I haven't even opened this up or anything. I'm about to. I feel like that. Mm -mm -mm. Well, let me get it open for you. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay. Cut that baby open. Didn't slice and dice my fingers with that big old knife. So uh, let's see what's inside here. Okay, and tissue paper. Ooh, there's a nice fancy pattern on it all over the tissue paper. And it does remind you to recycle. Okay. Oh, a little card here. I feel special already. Okay. Nice gold Versace lettering. And it's thick too. And there's some, um, I think there's a little wax coating. Kind of over Versace lettering there. Enjoy. You deserve it. Remember to love yourself. Oh, yeah. You know, I wrote that to myself. <laughs> Versace doesn't send you um, little notes like that unless you uh, write it to yourself. So I forgot I did that. <laughs> and that's a reminder to all of you guys out there, too. Love yourself. And don't forget that when you work hard and you're doing right by yourself and other people, you deserve a little treat now and then. Right? Nice, thick Versace box. Gold lettering on the top. And it is... um. It's raised gold lettering. Feels nice. Feels nice in the hand. Nice rubber band to keep everything uh, in place. <laughs> little uh, authenticity type ducks. Let's see what's in this little envelope. Can't read that. Okay, so if you want to authenticate your product, you scan the code or you scan this barcode and it'll take you, you know, online to a place where you can authenticate your product. Um, I do believe most, if not all, designer items have something like that. Um, uh, I haven't ever, 
try to authenticate anything because I usually get it from somewhere reputable. So inside we have a nice dust bag. And it is nice and heavy. And it's like, it feels like um, nice soft felt kind of material inside. And then there's a Versace branding again. And this is stitched on. Very nice. Now, this looks <laughs> so dope in person. I mean, it was nice on the website, but in hand, this is a lovely shoe. And so, this is the Versace Hills. And it was released this uh, fall, winter 23. And I did order this last year, but it just arrived yesterday on the 4th. But it's supposed to be like, you know, the Hollywood sign and city in the background. But online, when I was looking at the shoe, you couldn't see this is like um, silver overlay over the Versace lettering. And I do love how it has like a sunset in the background. It's very pretty. Pink to purple. And I believe they call that the Greca pattern here. Which changes to bars on the front. On that midsole. Come back around. Same thing only. The Versace is not on the inside of the shoe. And a leather strip off the back. Back to the outside of the shoe. And the laces are mm, nice and thick, I always say. Almost as thick as like um, the laces for Air Force Ones. Okay, and so we do have on the tongue the Versace branding with the Medusa and his name underneath the, the Medusa there, Gian Versace. On the inside now this tissue paper feels pretty soft different than normal tissue paper then we've got like you know on the inside silver versace lettering on the insole and that insole is leather And I'm not sure what this material is. Maybe a textile. Here we have 
the size and made in Italy. And this outside, this uh, print is on canvas and the color uh, for this, it just says print. And so for the outsole, look at that, that's so the Medusa. Is that cool or what? And then we have Versace branding on that outsole. And so it is all over the shoe. Um, if you don't like that kind of thing, I'm a total label whore, so I love it when there's branding all over the shoe like this including the bottom even though most people aren't going to see the bottom but i live in a snowy place so when you're walking you're leaving shoe prints <laughs> in the snow <laughs> and that's just it's not a flex it's just uh entertainment for myself <laughs> So those both come in their own plastic. That's cool. There's no rubbing in the box. And of course, the other shoe is the exact same thing. And I can see this video is already longer than I want it to be. So I'm not going to take any more time. Let's get to the on foot. Okay, so these do fit true to size. I feel like they'll be pretty comfortable. Now I do have, um, even though my size is a 43, um, one foot is wider than the other, so this one's a like a normal size, and this one's a little bit wider just because of an injury. And I would say that they would probably be pretty comfortable, like pretty much an all day wear shoe. Um, except for on the right one, there might be a little pressure point. Mm -hmm. Maybe at the great toe. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't worn them yet. Not, you know, outside or anything like that. So um, I'm just assuming. Now I can loosen them up, but they are stitched there. Like right here, it's stitched. So there might, you know, be a little pressure point there. Um... I don't know if that would be too big of a deal. Uh, I guess I'll just have to see. But right now I'm loving these shoes. I think they look great. And actually, I bought an accessory to go with it. <laughs> Got my big knife out again. Open this up for you guys. You know, and as I was moving around, that already feels better. When I was talking about the pressure point. So if I leave the laces loose, like I have them, I think it'd be just fine. So let me open this up for you real quick. Okay, so I got this accessory at Neiman Marcus. So if you're interested in either of these, they also have, um, well, let me show you this first. wrapped up in tissue paper and a little pad there. Here it is. Can you like it?
Mas eu tô back there, same gold metallic lettering there for the Versace branding. And it is the hat, baseball hat. Oh, yeah, I do like that design where they kind of tried to mimic the Hollywood sign there. That's pretty cool. I cannot wait to wear it with my shoes. Um, Let's see. The hat feels like it feels like nylon. Oh. Okay, I did not pay that price. <laughs> it was on sale. That's pretty easy. Uh, it says size 60. Versace. Made in Italy. And then. Just the Versace. Mm, that seems like a sticker. On the tab there. Not really sure. Maybe some. Uh. Wash instructions. And it's adjustable. It has a Medusa on there. And it's a good thing it's adjustable. It looks kind of small for my head. I got a big dome. Let me tell you. But yeah, that's the. Uh, Sunset design goes all the way around. It's beautiful. Love it. And Nothing on that. Nothing on that. So what do you see more? Yes, okay, so these are supposed to be inside the little envelope, but they were sitting outside. And this is just the authentication. This is blank. This is just the authentication, I guess. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, there will be much more to come and uh, hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little bit. And um, like I said, if you want either of these two, I would suggest a Google search because then you can see uh, what the prices are for different sites. Stick with reputable ones, of course. Um, and look at if you're unfamiliar with a site, you definitely want to look it up like on Trustpilot or something like that, and make sure that it has good reviews. Also, um, there's more to this collection where they have um, a shirt, a t-shirt, and a sweatshirt, all with the same uh, design on it. So the only thing is, uh, yeah, those are way too much for my pocket. But like I said, hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and uh, see you soon with another video.